Hi there, this is Max Power, and today we are going to have a look at CCleaner. Basically, what it allows you to do is delete temporary files and registry clutter easily on your computer. Uh, it's also used for privacy protection, deleting browser history, deleting document history, all through an easy to use program uh, that's free. That's the best thing. So, basically, let's start. The first thing we've got to do is download it. So, we just need to search for CCleaner in Google, and as you can see, it's the top result. Now, here is a clearly visible download button. We just click on that. Now, there's a few different versions of CCleaner, but the one we're interested in is free. It basically gives us all the functionality we need. Uh, so, let's download that. Don't be fooled into clicking any of these bu other buttons. Just got to wait for the download to finish. So, once the download's finished, uh, we run the installation program. It gives us a few options here. You can choose what you do and don't want. Uh, basically, so add desktop shortcuts, self-explanatory, add start menu shortcuts, once again self-explanatory. Uh, the option to add um, run CCleaner option to the recycling bin context menu, that just basically gives you the option that when you right click on your recycling bin, you can run CCleaner from there. Um, add open CCleaner option to recycle bin context menu, um, same thing, it just instead of running it automatically, just opens up the program. Automatically check for updates, it's up to you. Uh, it's always handy to have the latest version, but it also can be annoying with pop-ups and such sometimes. And intelligent enable intelligent cookie scan. What that does is uh, it looks for the cookies that it thinks you want to keep, such as Hotmail logins, uh, stuff like that basically so you don't have to continually type in your passwords and such it's up to you again what you want to do so let's install that so that's installed we don't want to view the release notes but we do want to run CCleaner uh, now the next thing so what it comes up here with is with this basic window it gives us each program or, uh, like things that programs like Internet Explorer Windows Explorer system it gives us options as to what we do and don't want to clean from the computer. So Internet Explorer, we are, I want to get rid of everything. Windows Explorer, recent documents, run in. So all, all the stuff that I just don't need or use. System, empty recycles being automatically, gets rid of temp, any temporary files. Uh, clipboard, so it will clear any large clipboard files, such as images or something that you've copied. Um, memory dumps, check this file, fragments, just a whole lot of crap that builds up in your computer over time that you don't need. You can also go to applications, which is um, more third-party applications. It's not Microsoft, and you can choose what you want to do. Now, I'm going to keep everything in my Google Chrome because I want all my history and everything, but you can choose, yet yeah, once again, what you do and don't want to clear the data from. That's basically it for now, I think. So we can then hit analyze. So what that does is that goes through our computer and has a look at what can be removed safely. Uh, depending on the, how the speed of your computer, the time since you've done a good clean in the past, the size of your hard drives, it may take a while to complete. But obviously it was very quick just then. Now this is telling me there's 2,847 megabytes of data that can be removed safely. Uh, that's almost 2.8, well that is 2.8 gigabytes. If you have a look down here, it also goes into more detail and tells you what it's going to remove. So if we want to have a look at temporary internet files, we can right click on it and view detailed results. And it'll even show us each file. So you can actually tell what's safe uh, and what is not safe to remove if you're a more advanced user. Let's go back to the summary results. Uh, basically what we want to do then is we want to run CCleaner. This process will permanently delete files from your system. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Uh, yes, we want to proceed. Wait for that to happen. Once again, the speed that happens will depend on your computer. Um, and that's done. Now, just something, a few things to remember here. Uh, basically, that's deleted all that stuff and that's gone. Secondly, you don't have to analyze first. Analyzing first is if you're not quite sure you trust it doing its automated thing. You can just hit run cleaner from the start and it will just automatically clean everything. Okay, so we can go to uh, registry next. So what this basically does is it's going to look for all these different uh, registry items in our registry uh, and find them for us and tell us that if it's safe or not to remove them. Basically we'll only find the safe things to remove. Once again this isn't 100% safe. You do need to make sure that you um, take some precautions like backing up your registry which will come up, an option will come up in a second. So you can see here all the missing DLLs and the un, uh, you know, unused file extensions and, and stuff that 
that CCleaner has decided that we don't need and it's just cluttering up our computer. Uh, so basically this stuff builds up over time and it just it clogs up your computer, s slows it up, uh, reduces, sorry, it increases your boot time and it's just basically good to do this every now and then. So let's click fix selected issues. Now it's asking me if we want to back up changes to the registry and I would recommend hitting yes and just saving the file somewhere. Basically what that does, it just creates a backup that you can run and restore uh, at a later date if it creates a problem by doing these registry changes. Registry changes can cause problems sometimes, even doing it through a reasonably safe program such as CCleaner. So I always recommend backing up. So let's um, fix our issues. Now I've done a recent backup so I don't need to do that. Now we can here, basically it says we've got Basically here, it's going to go through each of the issues it's found individually. We can fix each one individually if we want. Uh, we don't need to do that. It's going to take a long time, obviously. Uh, I trust CCleaner. I've never had it give me a problem, but once again, it can. So always back up your registry. And we're going to fix all selected issues. So basically, that's telling me that the issue is fixed. So once again, we can scan for issues. And sometimes it will find stuff on a second run again. Uh, it's good. You can just... Once again, fix those issues. You may find that it keeps finding stuff. And you don't have to keep doing it. It's got rid of the majority of the problems. So that's that. Now, if we go back to CCleaner and do another analyze, you can see it's pretty much, there's nothing left to find. Uh, so it's done a good job of cleaning out a computer. The other things that CCleaner does is it has a few other tools, which are pretty much built into Windows anyway, but it's just an easy way to get to them all. Uh, an easy uninstall, repair, um, rename programs tool. You can adjust your startup, what comes up in your, uh, what starts up with your computer and different programs, Firefox, Chrome, just to reduce startup time. You can find files easily by file size, you know, modified date, that sort of thing. System restore, so if you need to do a system restore, like something's happened bad on your computer, it's not running correctly, you installed something that stuffed it up, uh, you can easily run a system restore. I don't have any restore points. I trust myself, but it has bit me in the ass before. Uh, and drive wiper. Now this will format um, format your hard drives. Uh, I don't recommend using this. It's never safe to format anything unless you really want to clear out your whole computer. So don't do that. Uh, and there's some settings and stuff as well, but you really don't have to play with them. Basically, that is a really easy way uh, to keep your computer in fit and running form and to make sure you've got as much free space as you need. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments and be sure to check out my website on maxpower.com. Um, see you next time.